If you've been watching my channel, you know I have a lot of videos on insulin resistance simply because it is behind so many health problems and the great majority of the population has insulin resistance. So I think it's important to give you solutions to improve this uh, situation. Um, as you know, low carbs will help improve insulin resistance as well as fasting. But you can also put the omega-3 fatty acids on the list as well, because there's some really interesting research on omega-3 fats. DHA and EPA are the two omega-3 fatty acids. And these two have the capacity to improve insulin sensitivity as well as diabetes type two. Now the question is why do they work? Okay, I always wanna know why they work. Number one, they have very powerful anti-inflammatory properties. And anytime you have inflammation, you're gonna have insulin resistance because that's one of the triggers. So anything that can reduce inflammation will also help reduce insulin resistance. Now, these omega-3 fatty acids also are great to support immune modulation, which is the controlling of your immune system. So it'll, it'll help you with that as well. And there's a huge link between inflammation and your immune system. Also, omega-3 fatty acids help uh, support the uh, mitochondria in your muscles. Now, in the study that I'm basing this on, this study was uh, pretty credible. Double-blinded, randomized, placebo-controlled study, okay? testing fish oils on insulin resistance. And they found two things. They found significant lowering of fasting insulin levels, as well as a decreased insulin resistance. So now the question is, what type of foods have omega-3? Well, I'm gonna list them in the order from high to low, okay? And this is in milligrams per serving size. Okay, mackerel, it's a fatty fish, has 4,170 milligrams, okay? Salmon, of course, salmon is huge, 4,123 milligrams. And then my favorite, cod liver oil, 2,682. And what's nice about cod liver oil is you can, it's convenient, you can take in a supplement. And also cod liver oil has a nice balance of vitamin A and vitamin D, as well as DHT and EPA, the two omega-3 fatty acids. And then we have sardines, right? 2,205 milligrams per serving size. Caviar, over 1,000 milligrams. Anchovies, you can put that on your pizza, and I'm being very sarcastic, uh, has 951 milligrams. Tuna, 733. And oysters, 370. All right, now you have an additional thing that can improve insulin resistance. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.